Well, good afternoon, y'all. I hope you're all doing well. I uh, feel a little under the weather today, so I stayed home and got to uh, play with a bunch of stuff in the shop. So that's the uh, 50 cal barrels. Got a couple of them there. A couple aired up cartridges. Now, here's the thing. I don't know when I aired these cartridges up. Uh, they are under pressure still, so it's a total unknown. I'm actually going to do more of a test in the next couple days and try to... Uh, uh, do this with fresh cartridges where I know exactly what it's firing at. What's in here right now is uh, 200 and, uh, whoop, there goes some, 235 grain pellets, hollow points. I just want to see how they do. So fire a couple of those out of the Defender and see how they do. Um, I'm going to end up using the 210 grain hollow uh, pellet for the next test because I want to get as much out of this thing as I can but uh just for grins I figured hey what the heck give me something to do today I have a BWS 45 test plan too unfortunately uh I'm having an issue with my BWS 45 it's minor I'm gonna take care of it today and be able to uh do a video tomorrow with those new 240 grain pellets uh that I've got for it for the long barrel so anyway that should be tomorrow but for now, oh, there's a safety. Who knew? <laughs> okay. Let's see what we got here. I can do this without turning it off. Some of my other toys, Zeus 357, be uh, firing that maybe tomorrow too. BW, uh, I'm sorry, M50 with 357 barrels pressed. Just uh, all my little toys end up on the shelf here to be worked on. Uh, looks good. I was firing for an upward angle. So there's the two paths that went through the uh, 12 inches of ballistic gelatin, uh, three gallon of ballistic gelatin. And uh, they went right in, created a nice little cavitation and both exited. So. I don't know if those are new holes or I heard at least one ricochet. So one may have been a hit and a ricochet. But anyway, that's the uh, Defender in 50 cal. Hope you all have a good day. Take care.